Welcome, and thanks for joining me for Pathfinder Kingmaker. We're here in our throne room. We just took care of a bunch of stuff. Uh, we had a conversation with our advisors, and we've done some kingdom management stuff. One last thing here to do before we head out again is, I believe, we can level up one of our villages into a town. Let's let's look up here at this trade guard. Can't remember exactly where we do that. Um I know we did that once. <laughs> Is it not in here? Hmm. I think I had trouble finding this before. Other? Is it in here? Project? I don't think so. I'm, I know we can't do that one. Village. I thought it said that we were able to rank up another... Or uh, to uh, level up another village to a town. Complete the relevant project on the projects tab. Maybe I was just mistaken. I don't see a project. Rank up the economy. Maybe I misread. I thought I saw something saying we could upgrade another village. It's time to upgrade another village to a bigger settlement. Well, maybe we just need to wait for that project to come available or something. I don't know. It is done. we've got everybody we need I actually I guess we're heading to the river oh I, I forgot about the party that Lindsay wants to have for Ekun I was gonna take care of that first but I guess maybe we'll wait on that so our main quest Need to explore the river. It says Keston's gone ahead, but he was still standing in our throne room. <laughs> our companion quests and then the kingdom stuff. We just have a couple errands. Settlement in the Kama lands. Right, I thought we had one. <laughs> That's, And then we need to find these things for her. I guess yeah isn't this shambling steps is our village in the comma lands I don't know maybe we need to build like an artisans building or something there here's the Gudrun doesn't show where Keston is, does it?
guess we could go here. So let's head back to the bridge. Here we go. Goblin Fort. Is that where we're meeting? Okay. High hewn log walls encircle a hastily built settlement. The apex of the fort is a hill on which a totem of Lamashtu has been erected. Although goblins are not known as skilled architects, the fortifications look, look rather impressive. Moreover, the little creature is even arranged for a water supply in case of a siege. The fort is built right over the Gudrun River. Go up the Gudrun River to find Keston and his militia. I guess we can start by looking there. Freed prisoners. Okay. Time for fun. Keston's mm. here. Okay, I guess we don't want to just throw a fireball in there. Why don't you do a haste? Unworthy. Here, Raglangar. See, he could actually could throw a fireball in here. See, how about we cast sleep? No. Um, we can do confusion. Wonder. Huh. Full round. That's only standard action, that's why. Keston. Tear them apart. All their little noises. Actually, probably get another fireball in here. 
pretty decently. Wretched things. Oh, I didn't see that one right there. Use your bone shaker there, Harim. Finish this guy off, Amiri. Yeah. Okay. Kasten nods. His armor is covered with cuts and scratches. There is blood on his gloves, but he, he himself is uninjured. You are right on time, Baron. We are we were losing hope no longer now that you're here. Further down the path, behind a palisade, lies a nest of goblins. We chanced upon it while heading up river. I've no idea when these pests managed to build it and so fast. We scouted it less than a ten, ten day ago, and there was no trace of them. Whatever the cause, the surrounding area is thick with goblins. Only one of the scouts we sent made it back. He reports that they have raised a fort of sorts at the top of the hill around a totem to Lamashtu. They packed the fort with cages with prisoners inside. We've managed to rescue a few of the captives. Others escaped and came back on their own. We've questioned them. They say the shaman performs rituals on the prisoners. We entrenched ourselves here to prepare for an attack, but goblins keep coming at us. They're not giving us a moment's peace. The way they are hounding us, you cannot protect the survivors and attack the camp at the same time. Keston turns to face you, his eyes determined. Only you can rescue the caged prisoners in the fort, your grace. Can this goblin camp have something to do with the seeds? The only way to find out is to get inside. You'll have to get past the gates and see what's going on in there. How are the prisoners? Some are injured, many are exhausted, and every one of them is terrified after what they've been through. All the prisoners we've spoken to say they are taken to the Lomashtu to Totem to take part in the magic rituals. What's strange is that the shaman doesn't sacrifice anyone. All he does is shriek and pray to Lomashtu and then forces victims to drink water until they start to choke. Prisoners mentioned a shaman, the leader. The scout mentioned seeing a large white beast at the hilltop. He thought it might be a wolf. If true, the goblin king must be somewhere in the camp. We discover the magic seeds are transported by water. If the shaman is infecting prisoners on purpose, then anyone who has consumed the water can give birth to a monster. There's no time. I have to kill them all. Keston turns pale. Oh, that wasn't what I meant. <laughs> I, I, what I didn't mean I need to kill the prisoners. Have it your way, Keston. Oh, hopefully that doesn't make him too mad. Okay. I'm leaving at once. I need to free the prisoners before the goblins serve them for dinner or worse. I wish you good fortune, your grace. Send the ones you rescue our way. We'll protect them. Okay. Find the goblin shaman and learn what he knows.
Okay. Oh, here we are. You cannot stand against me. Of course, he's going to chuck stuff over the wall there. I need to watch, like, when we used Inspire Greatness before, it stayed on even after our fight ended, which I didn't think normally happened with these Inspires. Turn it on, but I gotta remember to shut it off. I guess we can actually get a fireball in there. Let's not waste it. Let's just use a bone shaker here. I like how they switch to another target after if they they kill someone and still have more attacks left. They go ahead and find a new target. He killed his own guy there. I'll cut you. Any last wishes? Bring it. Okay, we need to turn this off. I don't think we had to do that with these others. Let's actually put this down here where we'll see it more readily. Get things organized here a little bit. Yeah, we don't ever use days anymore, really. Let's put this here. Okay. Um, Jethel, we use a little healing. Oh, those are using up her barriers. Don't want to do that. Stopping now. Can you make an epic pose? I need inspiration. Oh, they're all set up. <laughs> Look at that group. Run right by Jethal. So I'm gonna test with if we put in inspire competence on. I feel like that usually turned itself off. But maybe I, I'm wrong about that.
Your life very slow. Okay. You mean we we could do volcanic storm? That seems like maybe a little bit of overkill. Can't quite get all of them with this though. The only thing we don't know is if we have like, we do have prisoners down here. So that might be a bad idea. We don't want to hurt them. Let's just do this. Yeah. Nice. Just do this. Killed four of them with that. Okay, Jethal. Probably really could think about some AoE or cone spells that she could use when she's got a group on her like this. Um, this is just a one target. I don't think we need skeleton reinforcements at this time. Advance. It's a lot of them. Can't wait to get another fireball in there. Switch to Dirge of Doom. Yeah. They go down. Get that one to you. Oh. What a waste. <laughs> He was laughing, giggling as he dies. Okay, here we go. I actually probably can't get this. Oh, maybe we can't get the whole group. Nice. Wow.
Unworthy. Still got more coming. Serves you right. Daisy, take that one. Daisy, did I just call her Daisy? Lindsay. I have a dog named Daisy. That's probably why I came up with that. Okay, so we've just got two of them out here. Save our fireballs. Wretched things. What a surprise. They hurt themselves more with those than they did us. You deserved it. Bring it. Never enhanced his weapon here. <laughs> Lindsay just shut this off. Any last wishes? Okay. Onwards. Let's regroup here. Take care of this trap. Applause, please. Take care of this trap. Anything else? March on. Okay, I see a prisoner tied up over here. We're just in this cage. One in here. Praise be to Aristotle. Cloth armor. Let's take a look at that. Robe of air. Electric aura. I wonder what that plus two DC bonus to electrical spells. Hmm. Well, he doesn't have very many electrical spells, but he can put that on. He does have the lightning bolt tire of and uh, I guess that's pretty much it. For electric, but get this one. Okay. So this was just kind of a little outpost here. You're making way. 
making your way through the goblin camp, a dirty, hastily erected settlement built of trash and mortared with what smells like goblin waste. You catch sight of the slip, silvery glimmer of water ahead, then suddenly notice a squad of armed goblins moving towards the water as well, shouting and prodding at a few scared peasants in front of them. Gonna force them to drink it. Seemingly unaware of you, the goblins push the prisoners to the water's edge. One of the guards knocks the nearest captive, a decrepit old man, off his feet and he falls to his knees with a moan. The goblin throws a filthy bent ladle in front of the man and points at the water. Drink, fast. The old man picks the ladle with shaking hands, then stops, quivering with fear. Attack the goblins. Hearing your approach, the gerb the gerblins the gerblins whirl see you and start shrieking. Whether fear or battle cries, you cannot tell. In the heat of the moment, one of them drops his spear, another steps on the foot of the goblin next to him, and so it goes, causing a ripple of chaos to pass through their ranks. The old man, startled by the noise, drops the ladle into the water, and then in the confusion, staggers to his feet and breaks into a run. The other prisoners follow, leaving the hapless guards howling in anger. Oh, you could, you could use judgment here. Why not? She needs a little bit of healing, actually. He's not going to be able to reach her yet, but we'll get him up there so he can heal Shethal. Attacks with their little daggers. Okay, well, our burning arc didn't get in there at all last time. Let's just do Bone Shaker. That's only a single enemy. Serves you right. Tear them apart. Didn't get the shocking grasp on that. I guess we 
We're too far away. Unworthy. <clears throat> I'm hoping it doesn't just waste that. Like, I feel like that's happened before with the frigid touch, at least. Lindsay can inspire some greatness. Become as dust. Yeah, so we just lost. We just lost a, a cast of that. I think pretty sure that was at six. You deserved it. <laughs> Trying to set up Ragongar here for lightning bolt. Shoot for two. I'm gonna hit Jaythal with it. Despicable. Goblins dealt with. I wonder if we're getting anywhere near. Probably have to circle back around here somehow. There was a shoot. I think we missed a. Oh, I don't. Wanna... Okay, I guess we're committed. There was something back here. I don't think we picked up. Maybe I did. I guess I did. Okay. <laughs> Sorry about that. That's my old man memory failing me. Masterwork short bow ring. Energy source. If the wearer of this ring has the ability to channel energy, it allows them to do it two additional times per day. Okay. Well, Harim, Harim's got a slot for that. He doesn't use it a lot, but. Follow me. Let's see what they're made of.
This is where I step in. I'm writing you out of our story. Feels like we can pretty much go right at these goblins. At least till we get to like a boss or whatever. They're not too too much for us to handle. What's happening here? Did that cloak put electric uh, electricity onto our crossbow? It, it looks like it did. Yeah. Shock like crossbow. Our crossbow hasn't always been shock, has it? I guess maybe it has. Maybe we just don't ever use it. I wonder if this robe enhances that. Electrical spells. I never noticed that glow on his weapon before. Oh, you were way off with those shots, Lindsay. Looked like you were shooting at Jethal. Quite a few of them here. Might need to get Deo in here with a fireball. save that stuff just in case but I don't want to prolong this for no reason bone shatter one of them Repent. 
Okay. There you are. Let's see what we can hit with this. Let's see if we can get all four of them in there. Nice. Oh, we got some sneaks. Dog, goblin, goblin dog cutter. Oh, wow. They just keep coming. Okay, well, Lindsay, let's go ahead with some greatness. They're all coming after Deo now, for some reason. Wretched things. Maybe because he's the one killing them with fireballs. Your life is low. We're getting people really spread out here, but I'm not too worried about it. Those could be famous last words, though, huh? I'm not too worried about it. some rage on. Let's just start clearing out these goblins. Yeah. Come on. Despicable. What a waste. He actually moved over here. Let's send a lightning bolt back this way. Are we hitting those two? Yeah. No, oh, it's really having trouble ending the turns. Goblin Rock Eye. Tear them apart! 
Advance! <laughs> Become as dust. <laughs> Okay, let's let's get these finished up here, people. Yes. Well, I'm glad we have Lindsay there for some healing. Actually, well, let's wait. We don't here. Wait on channeling. Strike with all your might. <laughs> no stopping now. Grotus awakes us. Okay. Wow, that was a lot of goblins. Must be getting close to the main fort. How curious. Please. Onwards. Prisoner there. Oh, we got a dire wolf. Don't really like that. I'm going to get flanked by that. So now we got him coming from both sides. Let's get some skeleton help over here. Game keeps getting stuck once I go to the menu. How is she at zero now on these? Did I leave that? Man. Did she get hit with something that did that? Is it because... Rain? That wouldn't... Bewildering injury? Maybe I just left it running and it ran out. Shoot. Any 
last wishes. <laughs> Repent! The skeletons killed that wolf. So are they... Are these in the fight yet? I can't tell. Let's have you put some guys over here. Just got a couple goblins left over on that side. I guess Jate will head around here. Oh, kill. We can kill the prisoners. <laughs> skeletons are going to be able to finish them off on their own, but we could send Ragongar down there. Not everybody else can focus up here. Got a bunch of prisoners down here. Let's see if we can get a good fireball off here. Got our skeleton shield wall up there. Goblin sneak black. Your life ebbs. 
comes low. <laughs> Because he's coming down there to help. We won't falter. Well, Jethel, just go there. Got you surrounded, Goblin Horse Reaper. He's going down. <laughs> yeah. Maybe that wasn't happening. Okay. Beast, that was a lot of them. Oh, Mary just walked right through the trap. No stopping now. So we let these people out. Hey, hey, over here. Tigny Jusmert. You, yes, you there. Let me out of here. Come on, move it. Are you waiting for the entire goblin horde to show? I've had to deal with dozens of goblins on my way here, so a few more are of little concern. Who are you? A corpulent man in a ragged jacket and worn-out trousers is in the cage, his hands tight on the bars as if trying to throttle them. Tigny Jesmert, a free merchant. Now that formalities are out of the way, can you see about setting me free? Don't let him out. He's a scoundrel. He never misses a chance to fleece honest, hardworking folk, and he even shakes down the refugees. He has no shame. You had it coming, wretch. Where are your thugs now, Tigny? Having a hard time sleeping on the dung, meat, dung mat? Let him rot in this cage or in a goblin's belly. I don't care. No, no, don't listen to them. I have no idea what they are on about. Would you let an innocent man die because of lies and gossip? What are the others talking about? Did you cheat those people? 
What? No, nothing of the like. Slander and nonsense. All of it. Tigny shakes his head and forces a smile, but the perspiration on his forehead exposes the lie. Uh, I guess we'll leave you here for now. Let these other people out. Follow me. We get everybody. Okay, that's onwards. How curious. This is what appears to be the bottom of the map. No stopping now. Just confirm that. Okay. We can head up th through here. Let's see if we can get some skins from these wolves. Is done. Okay, I think we're going to stop here and when we come back we'll see what's happening with these drunken goblins and they talked about a goblin leader, so maybe we've got like a boss fight or something in here. Looks like the weather's clearing up too, so that'll be nice to come back to. All right, thanks for making it here. Thanks for watching. I really appreciate it, and I hope to see you again next time. Bye-bye.